Hello, my skincare friends. Today, we're gonna dive deep into Accutane. We're gonna talk about who should be on it, who should avoid it altogether, and what kind of side effects you can expect. I'm Dr. Hannah Kopelman. I love sharing my skincare knowledge with you, and I love giving you my honest review about products. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. You've probably heard of retinoids before because they're very popular for anti-aging and anti-wrinkles. Well, Accutane is actually an oral retinoid therapy used for patients who have severe cystic acne or moderate acne that is responding poorly to antibiotics or topical therapies. So if you're someone who's been on doxycycline for three to six months and you're not really seeing any improvement in your skin, then you may want to consider Accutane. However, if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, or planning to become pregnant in the next year, I would not start Accutane at this point in time because it can cause severe birth defects and it's very serious. We actually do a pregnancy test before you start Accutane and then every 30 days while you're on the course of Accutane. That's how serious it is. So let's just talk more about what Accutane is. So as I said, it's this oral medication and we dose it with a calculation according to your body weight and we wanna get it, you to a goal. And eventually, once we hit that goal of what dosage you should be on, you stay on that for a few additional months until your skin becomes completely clear. I would say about 50 to 60% of people are only going to need a single course of Accutane. And usually that course can last anywhere between five to nine months and sometimes up to a year. So if you're on Accutane for up to a year, I wouldn't be too surprised. Actually, one of the reasons that people have to go back on another course of Accutane, sometimes even a third course, is because they're taking off the Accutane too soon. So it's better to stay on it an additional month or two and not have to go back on it for another like six to months to a year, in my opinion. But I do think it is a miracle drug and I've seen such significant improvement in people's skin. It changes their lives, it makes me happy. There's such gratification and satisfaction that you feel when you can clear someone's skin. I do wanna mention that Accutane comes with side effects. So not everyone can tolerate them. And yes, it did get a bad rep because Accutane used to be thought that it had a correlation with depression and suicidal thoughts and thought to be maybe cause IBS or other stomach issues. But we actually found out that there is no scientific correlation because it actually does the opposite. We have found that people who at one point had severe acne and felt embarrassed by their acne because it can you know, be very difficult to go out in public and see your skin broken out and, and make you feel quite insecure. We have found that as people's skin clears and they start to get that glow, they actually feel much happier and much better in their skin and they feel more social and they wanna get out. So it's actually shown to increase your happiness and decrease your depression. Um, with that said, there are side effects that I want you to be aware of. Most importantly, and probably most common, are dry skin, dry lips, you can get um, dry nose or bloody nose, you can get dry eyes. So we have remedies for those. So if your skin gets dry, you're gonna wanna moisturize constantly. Um, I like CeraVe moisturizer and lactin, these are both great. And the best time to moisturize is as soon as you come out of the shower when your skin is damp. If you find that your lips are dry and cracking, then you're definitely going to wanna to carry around a Vaseline and constantly put that on your lips. You can never put too much of it and you can never overdo it. In terms of dry eyes, you can carry around some rewetting drops for your eyes, uh, like Cystane. And then for the bloody nose that some people experience, I always suggest using a humidifier, especially if you live in an environment that gets cold and dry. So those are a few remedies for the common side effects. The other less common side effects are headaches, muscle aches, and overall, I think people do really well on this medication. I do wanna mention that you can expect that if you're taking Accutane, you're going to have to do um, blood work because we wanna check your triglyceride levels and make sure that they're okay, as well as your liver function test. As long as your blood work comes back okay and you're not pregnant, whether you're male or female, then we can start you on the medication. So I find that if people come into the office and they're not seeing an improvement within the first few months, it's usually because they're not taking the medication correctly. 
And the best way to take the medication is with a fatty food. So I always suggest using a scoop of peanut butter or half of an avocado. It actually helps the medication absorb better and be more effective for your skin. However, you do wanna be mindful that you're not overdoing it and you don't wanna, I'm not telling you to run to McDonald's and start eating French fries because as I said, Accutane can affect your triglyceride levels so you don't wanna overdo it and then cause your triglyceride levels to go through the roof and then you're gonna actually have to come off the medication altogether. So just be wary of that. So if you're wondering where to get a prescription for Accutane, you can either go in person to your doctor or I've made it very easy and you can get a prescription from the convenience of your home at dermondemand.com. So yes, being on Accutane is a commitment, but it is worth it. If you're a female, you will have to be on two forms of birth control, whether it's a birth control pill and a condom. You could choose and you could talk to your doctor about that more in detail. Accutane is not for everyone, but I don't think it's something that you should be scared of. Don't let the bad press mislead you because you could have beautiful glowing skin. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'm Dr. Hannah Kopelman, and I will see you in the next video.